almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountain Shenandoah River Life is old there Older than the trees Younger than the mountains Blowing like a breeze Country road Take me home To the place I belong Alright, we're at the Homesteaders of America conference. We're just setting up our booth. Everyone's kind of setting up. It's like 50 degrees. Uh, we're in Virginia. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> Excited to meet everyone. Yeah, it's going to be fun uh, meeting some uh, YouTubers and uh, people we've been following on Instagram, Facebook. So it would be awesome to meet them in real life. <laughs> I'm Trish from Willow Creek Homestead in Idaho. This is George and uh, the reason I'm here is I love to touch beautiful things made by awesome people. Your tag flipped over but I, I love meeting community of people and um, rubbing shoulders. It's great. I'm Kathleen. I'm from Mama Grows and uh, I'm here as a mommy vacation. <laughs> I'm Rose from Wholesome Roots in Georgia, and I'm here to learn a little bit, connect a little bit, and just relax and have a good time away from the farm for a break. I'm Heather, and I'm Adam. Adam. We're from Northern Virginia, and uh, we came here to learn a little bit more about homesteading. We're get, just getting into it, and uh, we watch a lot of the YouTubers that are here, so it's kind of fun to come out and meet people. Um, and just learn a little bit more about uh, homestead. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're in our like planning phase, so we don't particularly have land or anything yet, but we're just taking a couple years to learn everything and just check it out, peas, goats, cheese making, everything, and just, just get get ready. Awesome. Yeah. Small steps. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, you it's too. great to meet you too. <laughs> here with uh, Kenny. We've been following each other. Yeah. We've been uh, conversating online and uh, while, yeah. through Instagram, YouTube. First time meeting you. First time. <laughs> Tell everyone where you're from. What's your name? Uh, Kenny Archer. Uh, I have a channel with my wife Courtney Archer and the rest of my family. Uh, we're from Pennsylvania. Why are you out here in, uh, at the Homesteaders of America conference? I don't know. Like nine months ago we, we found out there was a Homesteaders conference and yeah. uh, we decided Man, that'd be cool if we went. We wanted to meet all the, the people there. This is my son, Robbie, by the way. Hello. Um, we wanted to learn all there was to learn about homesteading or what all we could do, and yeah. thought that this would be a great place to do it. But since then, you know, because it's been nine months, we learned a lot about different stuff, and now right. we just wanted to meet everybody, like you, you know? Yeah, like, that's We great. talk all the time, and here great. you are in front of me. It's crazy. You're filming, too. Yeah, yeah. We have uh, we've Life on Beagle Road. That's our, our channel name. It's amazing to see other YouTubers here, because they're all walking around with a camera and like just kind of doing the same thing so it's kind of funny but kind of normal it's yeah like it, <laughs> I, I was just saying to you earlier right that it's the first time that i've been vlogging where i didn't feel like the oddball yeah awkward I, yeah i really feel like these are all of my people <laughs> so, awesome. homesteaders with cameras yeah <laughs> at, at six months they will be um, able to be bred uh, so you've got about two What's your name? Uh, my name's Tracy. Right now we, uh, we live in Kentucky, central Kentucky. Uh, we have a uh, small homestead uh, on one acre and uh, we're raising uh, meat rabbits, hoping for chickens and we're also thinking about doing quail. We have a YouTube channel 
uh, called Micro Farm Starter. We really like the idea of taking a small piece of ground and making the most of it. You don't have to have 10 acres or 15 acres or 20 acres necessarily. Right. Sometimes that can be overwhelming. Definitely. You know, but <laughs> if you have like just one acre or even less than that, just work with what you've got and you can make the most out of it. So it's like, you, you've got tiny houses. Yeah. Well, you got tiny farms, you know, micro farms. Right. So it's kind of like micro farm starter. And we also do a little bit with micro greens okay. as well. The thing I like about homesteading the most mm -hmm. is it's not some narrowly defined thing. You know what I mean? I mean, it can go so many different directions. Right. Right. I mean, you can either go off grid or not off grid or go solar or go completely off grid like, like Doug and Stacy do and just try to live without electricity altogether. You know, I come to places like this, the uh, Homesteaders of America conference, because a lot of interesting people, a lot of interesting things going on. Right, right. A lot of like-minded people doing stuff. Yeah, like-minded people. And sharing ideas. Right. right. And yeah. I like to ask the questions like, you know, how do you do that and what's involved in that? And they gave me like the little backstory and how they, like you got these spoons and they're hand carved. Right. I think stuff like that's really interesting. Right. So I like that. Hi, I'm Rinda. I'm Jim. Florida. We're Hardiness <laughs> Approach. <laughs> Hardiness <laughs> Approach. We live in Missouri on a homestead that we took seven months to find. And we really talk about eating well and living on a homestead and a great place to retire is on a homestead. A sustainably living in place. And we're here to tell you, you never, never too old to get started. And look, look at the back. <laughs> we have more moxie than money. <laughs> and there's our red barn that we have. <laughs> <laughs> so why are you guys here at the Homestead? This America? is our second year to be here and it's so much bigger than last year and seriously it's to meet all of the people that we've known online and we've just met so many wonderful subscribers and fellow YouTubers. It's amazing. Great classes and workshops, lots to learn. What we've found the most is that um, God has beautiful people still all over in the world amongst all the badness that's here. I think the cream of the crop is at this place. <laughs> Hey, I'm Meg Holler from the Holler Homestead. We are originally from California, but we're traveling around right now, and we decided this year that Homesteaders of America had to be on our list, like non-negotiable. It is awesome here, we love it. It's really awesome being able to meet up with like-minded people. So we're just standing here, and um, Joel Salatin's like right across the way. He's right there with Jake. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Yeah. Joel's just, right. I'm fanning out a little bit. A little yeah. bit of a fanboy. Yeah. yeah. So. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your name, man? Uh, Ethan. We've met. We've met. At the premiere, Justin Rose. Justin premiere. Rose premiere. Yep. Yeah. T tell us everyone about yourself. What do you yeah. Do? So we have a YouTube channel, 180 degrees from average. My wife and I started it about six months ago, right at the premiere. Yeah. Uh, we bought our family's farm, and it's uh, been in the family for 120 years, and we're just wow. working on fixing it up. And okay. How, how far is that from here? It was 20 hours of driving. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So why why did you decide to come here? Well, I think I might have heard about this from you, actually. Okay. Because I heard about it at the premiere, and yeah. then when I went to Jake's house on the way home, we stopped in at White House on the Hill, and he said, you gotta come. And yeah. I think it was because you, yeah, I know it was. Yeah. Because you said you should go. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. You're the reason I'm here. Oh, Now great. that I think about it, <laughs> you. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just meeting like like-minded people, right? It's great. I mean, yeah, yeah workshops. Great. I mean, Joel Salatin's here. I mean, no, I mean, this cool. has been super, super cool to meet everybody. And the best part has been meeting people that you uh, have been watching, uh, right. and maybe meeting those people for the first time. And if they've been watching your channel, it's been just kind of cool to meet people that you've been following along with for maybe years, you know? Right. And that's pretty cool. Meeting in real life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then the, the talks have been great. I mean, we're gonna get to see Joel Salatin, who's just standing right there. Yeah. Yesterday I got to see Eustace Conway, and nice. I read a book about him like 15 years ago. Right. And he was definitely what I expected. So yeah. it was cool. Get to see a lot of cool people talk. and Yeah, pretty cool. Having a great time. Michelle. I own Farm Life Outfitters 
and uh, we're a country and farm apparel brand. We have t-shirts uh, mostly and uh, we got kids and adults t-shirts. We've got uh, hats, we've got earrings. Uh, you can find us at farmlifeoutfitters.com. We're also on YouTube, Farm Life Outfitters. I'm Jake and this is Becky. And we got our two boys, Eli and Uriah with us. <laughs> so, uh, why are you guys here? Like, what are you guys doing? Uh, like last year we just came on a, on a whim. We knew some, some people would be here as far as YouTubers. I think you announced it and so that it just put it out there for us that yeah. it was an event that we'd want to come to. We'd be able to be hang around with like-minded people and, and uh, we really just came for the experience and then this year we were so excited from what we did last year that um, you know after making the video we got hired to shoot the video for the conference, um, shoot some video for ourselves and then and just have fun with uh, some of our viewers, some yeah. other channels, and have a lot of fun here. That's amazing. How people can find you? You have a YouTube channel? We do have a YouTube channel. It's called White House on the Hill, <laughs> and uh, we we did an interview with Jason last year. We're gonna we'll probably we'll get him on our uh, our stuff right now. But uh, if you haven't seen it, I think it's a pretty good interview that we did last year at this event. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the Homesteaders of America conference. Everyone's packed up, or packing up. We just packed up, ready to go. I think it went extremely well. <laughs> we had a good time. We did. I mean, just yeah. meeting all the people, right? Yes, we did. We got um, to meet a lot of people, a lot of other homesteaders, and people who wish they homestead, people who watch our channel. I think it was really yeah. good to put a face to some of the names of yeah. you guys that leave comments on our channel. We're so thankful for all of you guys. It was good meeting, meeting people who subscribe to our channel and uh, other, yeah, like you said, other YouTubers and a uh, really awesome event. Special thanks to Amy, Tanji, and all the crew that put this event on. I mean, it's an incredible event and I only see good things coming out of this event and I, I picture this event getting bigger and bigger every single year. So I appreciate you guys for having us. And we look forward to seeing everyone again at this conference next year. But we're headed home. Thanks for watching. All right, we just got back from Virginia at the Homesteaders of America conference. And I came down here right away to check on our chickens because we had nobody watching them, our egg layers. We butchered our 30 meat birds right before we left. But our egg layers, we had nobody watching them and I just kind of let them free range <laughs> the whole time we're gone and make sure they had plenty of water so we're gonna see what's going on here. Bernice! Do you have any kale? Mm, your plum pudding looks a little dry. Um, would you like any coffee? All right, so I filled up two of these waters and they still have water in them. <laughs> I filled up a big bowl of feed for them. They still have feed. So yeah, it worked. I can't believe it. Some bell peppers, but it's good to be back home. <laughs> Winter's coming. We just bought a wood stove for our mobile home, so you'll be seeing videos on that. Now I need to get firewood, but let's get back to it. It's good to be back in North Carolina. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time. We got right now to get